I got my first Rhodes maybe 2001. I bought it off of, I think I bought it off of a dude that was, I was in college with at my college I went to and he had it and it was, you know, kind of banged up, but it was a Rhodes and it worked, you know, so I bought it for pretty cheap and uh, brought it back to the house. That's actually still the same Rhodes I have to this day. <laughs> you know, I get it worked on every now and then, have some people work on it, I need to get it worked on again, but that was probably my first Rhodes. And I, I used to do all my gigs with that Rhodes. So I literally, you know, I live in New York, so I used to take the subway and everything with the Rhodes, you know. It wasn't a suitcase Rhodes, so I didn't have the, the, the uh, speaker at the bottom, but it was still heavy, you know. So I, I literally had like a milk crate thing, and I used to put the Rhodes on there and roll it around carry it down the stairs in the subway, you know, all those things, and take, I would take a Rhodes everywhere. I didn't have a keyboard either at that time, so all I had was a Rhodes, so I used to carry that joint everywhere, which is why it has a lot of wear and tear on it now. <laughs> so I always tell people, I paid my dues now, I'm never taking anything anywhere else again. Have it there for me, I can't do it anymore. That's why I have back problems. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's uh, probably around 2000, 2001, yeah. Actually, my favorite, I mean, my favorite Rhodes I think my favorite Rhodes period of all time uh, album is uh, Sunlight, um, Her Herbie's Sunlight record. That Rhodes, if it was, I want to eat it. It's like butter. I just want to melt it over some pancakes and just, you know, it's just so, ugh, you know, you just want to lay on it or something. It's like a pillow too. It's a pillow and it's butter, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's probably my favorite recording of it because it just sounds so... You can't even explain it. It's just, like I said, it's like butter and it's like a pillow. It's just so soft and so like, you know, and I mean mixed with Herbie's touch on it. You can't go wrong with it, but it's just, it's just beautiful. You know, the, the road sound on that particular album. Actually, that album was introduced to me by Jay Dilla, um, late great Jay Dilla, hip hop producer. And I was over at his crib in Detroit. And he was like, hey man, have you ever heard this song? And I was like, have you ever heard this album? I was like, no. But this was like in 98. Um, around 98 and I had never heard Sunlight and he hit me to that album he's like yeah man I sampled a lot from this album you know and he played me that record and I was like oh my gosh you know that Rhodes on there is just like incredible so I, I would say that's you know definitely like all time all star you know starting five Olympics Rhodes <laughs> so when I finally did this black radio album which incorporated all my a lot of contemporaries of my time in that you know, like Erica and Most Def and Michelle Vega Cello and different people like that, Music Soul Child, like you're mentioning. Um, I definitely had to have her on this record, you know. And she is on the song. That's the sexy song. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so it, it was great to have her on because it's like a... this palette and I just um, I emailed it to her because she couldn't come to the studio so I emailed this to her and she just put lyrics to it and put a melody to it in her house on her recording equipment and emailed it back to me and then I we played to this with her vocal in the studio as a band just played to her vocal she wasn't even there but we played to her vocal mm -hmm. 